The following session is from 21 Days with Holy Spirit, Biblical Meditations for Deeper Fellowship with the Spirit of God. The first seven sessions are set to be made available for free on YouTube and on the Numa Breath iTunes podcast, while the total collection will be made available at numabreath.com and to our patrons who support at the All Material Tier at patreon.com slash numabreath. If you enjoy these sessions, we encourage you to support the work through prayer, financial partnership, and more, however the Lord may lead you. Day 6 Not wine, but the Holy Spirit How shall we be filled with the Spirit of God? The verse we will be looking at now is from Ephesians 5, verse 18. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. And just say those words to yourself. Be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. be filled with the Spirit. Let's take a deep breath and exhale. Another deep breath and exhale. One more deep breath, all the way in. A slow exhale. Now breathe calmly on your own as you begin to meditate on this verse. Why does Paul make a comparison with being filled with wine, being drunk with wine? In the Holy Spirit. Both are receiving of something. Both are a substance coming into your body. Both impact your life. Just begin to see that. Begin to see a man drinking wine in excess consuming wine. See his disposition changing. See his interaction with his family change. His outlook on life change. His physical body sensations changing as the wine comes in. Now see yourself where you are right now. See yourself being filled with the Holy Spirit. See yourself receiving Him, the Spirit of God. Your body being filled with Him, with His presence, with His fragrance, with His life. I want you to ask yourself this question. 
Do I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Do I want to be filled with the Spirit of God? What do I really want in this life to be filled with? Do you really want Him? Do you really want the Holy Spirit? If your answer is yes, I want you just now to prepare yourself to be still. Lift your hands up, your palms facing heaven as if you're about to receive something from the Father. And now I want you to say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I receive you, I receive you in this moment. Come and fill me. Come and fill me. I bless you in Jesus' name. Be filled with the Spirit of God. Be filled in this moment with Him whose glory and light and power. Be filled in Jesus' name in this moment. Feel, just feel, be felt. Envision yourself being filled up to the brim, like a cup being overflowed, like a water bottle overflowing from a faucet, from a sink, a glass overflowing. Paul says, be filled, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Just like with wine, the organs are affected. The blood is affected. The mind is affected. Operations are affected. I want you to see yourself. I want you to see your organs. The major systems of your body. Your blood. Your mind. I want you to see the major systems of your body being impacted as the Holy Spirit fills your being. Begin to focus on your body. Begin to focus on your mind, your blood. See it as the Spirit of God is filling you. See the operations of your body being influenced and touched consumed by the Spirit of God.
unlike an excess of wine. When the Spirit of God comes in His fullness, when the Spirit of God comes in excess, life is imparted. Life. An excess of wine can bring destruction, but an excess of the Spirit brings abundant life. Abundant life. As we come to a close with this session, I want you to put your arms straight up high. You can open your eyes, you can look up, you can stand up, but I want you to just say life. Life. Life is filling me in this moment. Life. Oh, wonderful life. And if you don't feel anything, begin to call out on God. Say, God, fill me with life. Fill me with life. Speak it with such conviction, such urgency. bless you in Jesus name may you be filled with the Spirit of God may he change your life day by day in Jesus name hello William Crockett founder of Numa breath I began doing these because I believe the Lord wanted them to take place. I felt He put it in my heart to do it. And when I did, it was amazing to see the impact upon people. All the comments I try to read because I'm encouraged. When I see an email from Numa Breath of a comment being left, I get excited because so many of them are beyond what I could imagine tears and joy and experiencing the voice of God and people that are not even Christian having encounters with the Holy Spirit. This is a real work. It's, it's alive. And I'm not doing it for money. I, I, don't, I don't make money off of this stuff. Um, it's At least right now, I'm not. I would love to do this more. Um, as of now, it's more of a side work. But even if it is a side work, people are being touched People are having encounters, and Lord Jesus, I want more. I want more of his power in the lives of people to utilize technology to bring the kingdom of God. May the Lord bless you and protect you in Jesus' name.